Now first at 530, a live look at the roadways tonight. Rhode Island outpaces the nation when it comes to road safety. New federal numbers reveal the Ocean State had the largest drop in driving fatalities from 2017 to 2018 in the country. But the state's Department of Transportation says their work isn't done yet. How safe are Rhode Island roads? Recently, the Department of Transportation has launched several education campaigns aimed at saving lives. So even the ripple effect was to show that it doesn't just end with the fatal crash. You know, it continues. It ripples into everyone's lives. Tuesday, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration released state-by-state -state data on fatal crashes from 2017 to 2018. In that one year, Rhode Island dropped from 84 fatal crashes to 59. That's the largest percentage drop in the country. Rhode Island listened. They really listened. Gabriella Abadi with Highway Safety at RIDOT says more still needs to be done. Way too many. 84, 59, way too many. One is too many. Um, so we know that we have a lot more work to do. Rhode Island also saw the nation's largest one year percentage drop in alcohol related driving deaths, down 41.2%. Across New England, every state saw a drop of some size, except New Hampshire, which had the highest one year increase in driving deaths in the country. A body said Rhode Island's decrease shows that RIDOT's 10 year plan to make roads safer is working. The only acceptable number is zero. Is it feasible? I have to believe it. It does. Avadi also said the preliminary numbers so far in 2019 in Rhode Island continue to show a decline in deaths from last year at this point, but by a slim margin.